this is gonna be the last video I use my phone to record my video. Hey guys, Pete's look coming at you from the heavens. And today I am unboxing the Sony XV1F vlogging camera. I've been wanting this camera for a little while and I kind of missed out on the Boxing Day sales. I looked at it today because I was thinking, oh, I might have a look, I might have a bit of a sus because it's something I've been wanting for a while, it's something I've been saving up for for like the last couple of years. When I looked it up online this morning, I saw it was on sale and majority of stores already had it out of stock and I was thinking, huh, Emily! I need to go get this now! So we had a look and the guy that was there, shout out to Benji, um, was very friendly, very lovely and was willing to help me out of everything and actually managed to help me get some other things that would help out with it too. So this is the camera. The original price was uh, <coughs> $799, so pretty much 800 bucks, and I got it on sale for... Hold on, I can't read, sorry. I got it on sale for um, $679.16. Solid. Main reason why I've been wanting to get a better camera is because one, I, I think I say this in my um, 2024, like welcome to 2024 vlog. I just don't think, you know, using my phone to record all the time is the most ideal thing for me to use. I don't like looking at my phone that often anymore. I would like to spend more time actually looking away from it because even while I'm recording I still see the notifications and sometimes some of the notifications I see can upset me or distract me um, because I'm as you guys may or may not know I'm very prone to shiny things. I thought I'll actually treat myself and get a camera. Now the main reason why I wanted to get this camera was because um, one of the fluffy thing because I thought that would be good at um, grabbing my sounds, especially if I'm doing a let's play and I decide to yell at the top of my lungs because we do that while we're playing Five Nights at Freddy's. And um, it also flips out the camera so I can actually see what I'm recording and hopefully I can stop looking at myself. So this is me looking at my phone, like looking at my reflection on my phone. And this is me looking at the camera. You, obviously there's a difference when I'm talking to the camera and half the time I get distracted. I'm like, oh, person. I'm gonna make eye contact with the person, but no, I need to make eye contact with the camera. So hopefully having something like this could probably help because having a bigger lens is more eye-catching for me. Now, now I'm looking at myself again and I can't stop thinking about it. So literally, old trees worth the paperwork is right there but yeah this guy was so lovely he even after i left the store because the store i first went to they had one black one left but it actually got returned because it didn't come with the black fl fluffy thing and so that's probably the main reason why i wanted to get it i didn't explain what i did because yeah but i said that's the main reason and he says that's okay he searched up what other stores had it and then there was like one that was 10 minutes away, had one left and he's like, oh, this place has it. Let me just, you know, you can pay for it here. They'll put it on hold there to show your ID and then they'll give it to you. I'm like, awesome. And um, just as we walked out, it was um, of JB Hi-Fi. He gives me a call. Some random person calls me and I'm like, hello. And I hate answering calls from random people so much because half the time that it's a scam, they're like, hello. You missed your last two payments. And it's like in a completely different language. And I'm like, in I answered it and he's like, hey, he's like, it's um, Benji from the store. I'm like, oh, hi. You know, I was thinking, ah, this is weird. He's like, so I called up, you know, that first location store, which he sent the holding to. They had the same issue. The, they had one black one left, but it was returned from a previous customer because they didn't have the black fluffy thing in it. So he says, there's actually another store that's a bit closer um, that actually has one and they think it's got it in there. It hasn't been opened, so go to that one instead. So I was like, okay, easy done. Let's go to that one, got it, checked it in the car. <laughs> and yes, it does it the black fluffy thing. Cause it's got a fluffy thing on it. We need to name it something. I don't know what to name my camera. I think I might name him Henry. This is so tiny. Okay, oh, thank God it does come with a lens cap. Why wouldn't the camera come with a lens cap, Jess? I don't know. But yes, this is she. Might help if I actually hold it in the so right spot. So this is she. So far, I like the matteness of it. And that's the back. So I don't think there's actually... Damn, there's like no silver thing to pull off it. 
pull the thing out. You can also twist it around one way. I can't remember. Don't know. Yeah, that way. This is why we have lens caps because Jess's hands touch everything. So you can flip it back out. I don't know why you want it to be like that. That's it with the lens cap off. So that's pretty nice. I am a sucker for losing lens caps. So hopefully now that I actually have my own camera, um, I'll be less sucky at that. But here's the fluffy thing. It won't, it's so light actually you have to like grab it by the fluffy bits which I don't like so I don't want to rip half of it off so here's a fluffy thing it needs to be fluffed up the picture makes it look so advertising <laughs> um, but it's fine because it's a um, accurate representation of me hold on how do I get this thing on look at it it looks like Elvis her tinder profile pic her in person <laughs> There we go, there's that. So yeah, it comes with a battery. So I asked the guys like, oh yeah, I'll probably grab a second battery. Um, like this guy literally went above and beyond. He looked in every cabinet. He went to the storeroom and looked everywhere in the storeroom and God knows how big a storeroom is in JB Hi-Fi for this one camera. Cause he says, it says we got one on stock that hasn't been opened. He went above and beyond for me, which is I'm extremely grateful for. Okay, I'm assuming. Oh, it's fancy! Now, this also comes with just this, so you can actually plug in the camera with the battery in it to charge it. Um, which I thought it would come with its own separate battery charging kind of thing, which might be something I might need to look into purchasing in the future. I just got, oh, he threw in a 128 um, gigabyte um, sun disk thing. I hate opening these. Um, that was actually a lot easier than I remember. So yeah, literally I got a tripod as well and I got a spare battery because if you are vlogging, I highly recommend, um, and this is from like prior experience, like y'all, if y'all are new, you guys probably haven't seen these, but back when I first started vlogging back many, many years ago, um, I was using my parents like Nikon things that only recorded 20 minutes at a time and oh my god the batteries on those run out all the time if you're planning on vlogging or um or anything like that always have a spare battery on hand because um last thing you want is your camera to die and then you haven't actually finished the day i should probably read the instructions as this safely started up for the first time so be good gil and you know make sure you start it up properly Okay, let's see if it's charged, because sometimes they are, sometimes they're not, when you first get them. <gasps> uh, it's on! It's on, it's asking me what language I speak. I think I speak English. Oh, it's telling me to behave myself with the camera, make sure I use such data and uh, in compliance with my uh, applicable local law. <laughs> No, I'm not that nasty. Oh, so you can connect your smartphone. Hold on, let me let me do this bit. Okay, so I had a bit of a play around with it, and um, yeah, it works. It's got a tiniest bit of charge in it, so I'll obviously have to charge it. There's the on and off button, um, the record button, and all that sort of stuff there, if it wants to focus. Also connects to your phone. Which is kind of low-key cool, so you can actually fiddle with settings on your phone for it. You, can, you got your zoom in, zoom out options here, as literally any other camera have, has. Um, you got a spot to plug in a microphone, spot to plug in a USB, which I think is a USB-C. Yep, USB-C. Um, and then you got a HDMI. You obviously got all your dials and stuff on that side. How hot. So yeah, I'm gonna get it up on the tripod. So overall, I spent about $850 on this and like this camera and all the equipment to go with it. So I thought I might as well use it all at once so I can actually start using it. So the tripod I got is the Actor three-way sw swivel head tripod. Um, it extends pretty tall, tall enough for me. Folded length 63 centimeters, max working height is 159 centimeters. That's almost my height. Low capacity three and a half kilos. Bubble level, adjustable rubber feet, so it's got rubber foots. Little feeties. 
and um, stabilizer weight hook. Uh, it says camera is not included. What a shame. I hate it when people, I hate it when companies have to like include things like that um, because there are some people out there. And, oh, it comes with a handle so you can. Oh, you can do it vertically too. Look at that. Look at that so you can do it vertically. Hold on. You can do it vertically. Or horizontally. So portrait or landscape for all those camera geeks out there that's going to come at me for saying that. Alright, this is how we do it. So, hey guys, again. Um, so pretty much I just had probably like my first issue with the camera. I put it on charge, I left it alone, I had it blurt out some random settings so I thought it would be good to agree with most of it because I thought that was what I was supposed to do. It put it into something called S and Q mode. Now I couldn't get, figure out how to get out of it so I ended up having to reset the camera already which is obviously a nightmare if I had things saved on there. Doing that got me out of S and Q mode because it wouldn't let me record with audio um, and it just kept having issues with like letting me change the settings or anything like that. So having an S and Q mode so far I realise isn't probably the best thing but at the moment I've got it set so it can automatically focus on me and automatically change ISO and so on and um, so um, also another good thing I just realised was that um, you can connect your phone to your camera and you can actually e export from the camera to your phone the videos and photos you've actually taken which is actually really handy because <laughs> I was thinking damn I was like I'm gonna get this SD card and I'm gonna try and get it in my computer somehow and try and do this but no it, it seems a lot simpler than how it was so um so far i'm actually pretty happy with this um like i said the only issue was is going it going into s and q mode um which i seem to have figured out anyway so my advice with that is resetting it because <laughs> it's literally i couldn't do there wasn't much else i could do because it would just kept restricting me get, giving me error messages already and all that sort of stuff but so far I'm pretty happy with it. The tripod works, it seems to work pretty well on the tripod. But yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you guys liked it that much, make sure you subscribe and wait at the subscribe button, make sure you tickle the notification bell. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Pizza Lord signing off.